show where you don't have to know anything to win. It's your host, Chad Sutton. Hello, Mr. Reverse Entrance. Welcome to Brain Surge. I'm Jeff, the show where you need a great memory and super concentration skills. Let's meet today's Brainiacs. Matt can do a mime of the robot. I hope he's thinking outside the invisible box. Kennedy is a self-professed textaholic. Nicole owns a dog that wears a diaper. Now that's something I gotta see. Vincent lost his trunks in the public pool. Noah's role model is Isaac Newton because he wants to be a physicist. And Ashley can pick up stuff with her feet. One of you guys is gonna be a Brain Search champion today. With that title, you guys are gonna have a chance at thousands of dollars in prizes, plus a sliming from head to toe. However, for the rest of you, there is only one way out of here, and it is down the Brain Drain. Are you guys ready? Then I'm gonna go head over to the Brain Center so we can get started. Level one. I'm ready to kick it off with a 10-point puzzle. How about you? All right, pay attention to these instructions. I got a new time-traveling watch, but I haven't quite figured out how to use it. <gasps> pay attention to which dinosaurs chase me. Got out of there in the nick of time. Which of these dinosaurs was not chasing me? How do you think you did, guys? I think I did great. Matt, you're saying I did good, but you're giving me the I didn't do good face. Well, I, I wouldn't do better if, if she didn't fart over here. So. Oh, Kennedy! It, it was you. There's I didn't do no that. no place for that. The <laughs> farting happens in level two. Everybody knows that. No. All right, let's find out what the correct answer is. <laughs> it was two. Let's see who got it right. Kennedy farted, but she got it right. Ashley and Noah are also going to get 10 points. Oh, boy. What a start. Let's follow it up with a 20-point puzzle, shall we? I'm about to eat this big old chili dog. Try to spot the number on it before I eat it. What was the number on my chili dog? Let's see what the correct answer is. It was 495. Who's getting 20 points? Kennedy, Ashley, Matt, Nicole, and Noah. Vincent, shake it off. Shake it off. This next puzzle right here is worth 30 points, and here it comes. These girls are talking about who to invite to their sleepover. Pay attention to the names they mention. I'll invite Kelly, Karen, Kathy, Kristen, and Kate. Perfect. I'll invite Kim, Kendra, Kylie, Keisha, and Karina. Which of these girls was not invited? How'd we do on this one, guys? Good? No. Yeah. No? Noah, how about it? I think I did great. Great? Great. With a capital G. Let's find out what the correct answer is. Here's I'll the replay. invite Kelly, Karen, <laughs> Kathy, Kristen, and Kate. Perfect. I'll invite Kim, Kendra, Kylie, Keisha, and Karina. The correct answer was Kayla. Who's getting it right? Vincent, Ashley, and Noah. Nice job. Let's take a look at the scores. Noah and Ashley, you guys are tied for first with 60 points apiece. Followed by Kennedy and Vincent with 30 points apiece. And Nicole and Matt are tied with 20 points apiece. Guys, here's a 40-point puzzle. Pay attention. Check out these nine squares. Pay attention to which numbers are in each square. Now, I'm gonna shoot myself out of a cannon. Which number was in the square I hit? Let's see what the correct answer is. <laughs> it was two. Let's see who got it right. Kennedy's the only one getting 40 points. Oh, yeah. All right, this next puzzle is worth 50 points. Take a look. Check out my bedroom. Yeah, it's pretty messy. 
Okay, Mom. <sighs> Take a close look at the things on my desk. I'm gonna move one of them somewhere else. Which one of these things did I just move? Woo! Vincent, you waited to the very last second to get your answer, and what were you thinking there? Yeah, I better get it right. Let's see what the correct answer is. It was number three, the cactus, or cacti, depending on which part of the country you're from. Who got it right? Kennedy, Ashley, Matt, and Noah. 50 points. Take them. They're yours. All right, guys, we are down to our last puzzle. After this, the four of you with the most points are going to advance to the next level. The other two, you're going down the brain drain. This puzzle right here is worth 100 points, so everybody's still in the game, and here it comes. Take a look at me in the upper right. I'm on my way to my friend's house. Keep track of which house I go into. Which house did I go into? Hundred points on the board. Let's see what the correct answer is. Boom, it was house number three. Let's see who's getting 100 points. Matt, Nicole, Noah, congratulations. Oh, yeah, that's giving us the happy dance. Now it's time to find out which four of you are moving on to level two and which two of you are going down. The Brain Drain. In first place with 210 points is Noah, congratulations. In second place with 170 points is Matt. There are four of you left, and the last two spots we have a tie. With 120 points apiece is Kennedy and Nicole. Congratulations, you guys are moving on to the next level. Ashley and Vincent, you guys played a great game, and before we send you down the brain drain, let's find out what you've won. Congratulations! You've won a SpongeBob Wii game! SpongeBob SquarePants featuring Nicktoons Globs of Doom with 10 playable Nickelodeon characters. Play as both heroes and villains while defeating the Morphoids. All that and a bucket of slime! There's only one way out of here and it is down the brain drain. Vincent, Ashley, are you ready? Yeah! All right, come on down, Vincent! Thanks for playing, buddy! to have made the level two. Noah! Yeah? Tell us about your football incidents. I was running, and then there was a pole behind my friend. Basically, I got tackled by an inanimate object. Your friend? No, the pole. Oh, the pole, I'm sorry. Woo! Did the pole get penalized? Yeah. Well, at least you got the penalty. It made me feel better for the pole. It makes me feel better hearing that you feel better. Matt! Yes! I understand you made an unusual fashion choice. I did. I did. Um, I went to my grandma's. My mom forgot to pack my underwear. And basically, I had um, I was stuck with my sister's panties. I'm just going to leave that alone. Yeah. There's really nothing I can say that's going to be okay. witty or clever enough to be funnier than this yeah. story. OK. Kennedy, how are you? <laughs> you have a texting problem. Yeah, I kind of go over my limit a lot. What's over your limit? Well. I have one month I've had about 30,000 texts. You know, they have a new feature on um, a lot of these texting machines what's, what's that, that you can just call That's and talk to boring. someone. Well, good luck with that. I hope it doesn't become an even larger problem. <laughs> Nicole, how you doing? Good. You have a dog that wears a diaper. That's interesting. Yeah, because he has a problem and we didn't want to deal with it, so he wears a diaper now. Okay, and what's your dog's name? Bubbles, and he's Bubbles. a boy. 
Okay, you might as well just call them squirts. <laughs> Guys, enough of the chit chat. Let's get to the gameplay. Level two. All right, guys, on this level, I'm going to tell you a story from my big book of truth. On your feet, it's story time. Story time. All right, you guys are going to want to listen and pay close attention to the story I'm going to tell you, because afterwards, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Everything I'm about to tell you is absolutely 100% true. There are lots of superheroes, but my favorite are the mall men, the super security force at the Brain Surge Mall. First, there's Bagman, whose plasto vision allows him to see through shopping bags of any thickness. He's recovered many of stolen sweaters. Scooter Dude can chase the bad guy at speeds up to 13 miles an hour. The Keister doesn't have any actual powers, but his utility belt boasts the world's biggest keychain. Together, they've captured such villains as Cart Woman and the notorious Two Space. Early one morning, the nose smelled cheap cologne and bad breath coming from jail jewelers. The keister unlocked the store to reveal a guy wearing a ski mask. He said he was a shopper who had been locked in. But using his supervision, Bagman spotted his diamond loot. Keister yanked off his disguise and revealed the soap. Their arch enemy knocked them down with a squirt gun before darting off. The soaked heroes jumped on Scooter Dude and gave chase. The soaker gave one last blast before running down the escalator. Scooter Dude skid on the wet floor and his wheels slammed into the escalator. His friends went flying and landed right on the soaker. The soaker received a stiff sentence from the food court, while the mall men gave their corn dogs salute. How do I know these brave heroes, you ask? Well, just don't let my secret out of the bag. That's my story, and it's all 100% true. To lock in your answer, all you gotta do is sit down. If you hear this, that means you're right. If you hear this, Matt, would you demonstrate by having a seat? <laughs> Matt, back on your feet. Noah, what type of store did the main villain in the story rob? The jewelry store. The jewelry store. Have a seat. You got it, Matt. The villain soaked the heroes with what type of gun? A water gun. A water gun. Ding. All right. On your feet, Kennedy. Jeff disguised his superhero identity by wearing what paper item over his head? A bag. A bag. You got it. Nicole, the superheroes gave a salute with what breaded food item that comes on a stick? A uh, hot dog. Can you be more specific? Um. Uh... No. No? Uh, some type of hot dog. Some type of hot dog. Okay, <laughs> sit and hold. Oh, no, Nicole, hang on! <laughs> and she's out of here. Noah, what was the name of the squirt gun crazy villain? Oh, oh my gosh. I don't know. Um, it was... Crazy Man. Crazy Man. answer was the soaker. Matt Kennedy, congratulations. You guys are moving on. Yeah. You guys know what I'm in the mood for right now? What? A knockout round. Yeah. Knockout round. All right, guys, I'm ready to crank it up a notch around here. Behind those numbers are pairs of images from the story you just heard. Match a pair correctly, you're going to stay in the game. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to memorize the board, and that 10 seconds starts now. Hope you guys got a good look, yeah? Yeah. All right, Matt, what's your first number? One. One. And 12. And 12. Matt, you got yourself a match. Nice job. Kennedy, what's your first number? Four. Four. And? Thirteen. Thirteen. It's another match. Matt, back to you. First number. Two. Two. And? Eleven. Eleven. There it is. Well played, Kennedy. The pressure's on. Five. Five. And ten. And ten. Ding. Matt. Oh, goodness. Um, 
I'm gonna go with uh, three. Three? And 15. And 15? Oh, yeah! Kennedy, we are getting deep into the game. <laughs> um, seven? Seven. And nine? And nine. Oh, not a match. We are now in sudden death territory, which means the next correct match is today's brain search champion and moves on to the final round. Matt, pick wisely. What is your first number? Um, Sometimes can we just like do them? Um, let's see. I'm going to go with um, nine. Nine. And, um, and, uh, for the win. Six. Six. Not a match. All right, Kennedy still got a chance. Sixteen. Sixteen. And six. And six. <laughs> oh, Kennedy is today's Razor champion. Congratulations. Matt, you played a great game. And you're already in position. Hang on. Congratulations, you are moving on to the final round where you're going to play for thousands of dollars in prizes plus a sliming that's going to cover you from head to toe. Let's see what Nicole, Noah, and Matt won for making it this far. Congratulations, you won a Southern California City Pass. Southern California City Pass is a discount booklet of admissions to Disneyland, Universal Studios Hollywood, SeaWorld, and San Diego Zoo. City Pass saves. There's only one way out here, and it is down the brain drain. Nicole, You've got this on lockdown. You're about to play for thousands of dollars in prizes, plus a sliming you're never going to forget. Level three, the final stage. All right, Kennedy, this level has three parts. Each one's more difficult than the last. It's your job to memorize the light pattern that appears on the floor and then recreate it by stepping on the right squares. For example, that's right. That is not. If that happens, just come back here and you'll start all over, all right? Once you complete the first path, you want to stop the clock. You do that by stepping on that orange button right up there. Once that happens, we're going to open this up to a five by five. Complete that path, and then we're going to get a crazy dance party going on the six by six grid. It is the hardest path of them all. But here's what you can win. Complete the four by four and win an electric guitar. The Behringer Medallion electric guitar. Or play live with app effects or play along to MP3s with USB connections straight into your computer from Behringer. Complete the 5x5 five five and win a Diamondback bike. The new Diamondback Outlook and Lustre One. These 21 speed sport recreational mountain bikes handle both trails and pavement from Diamondback. Complete the 6x6 six six and win a San Francisco getaway. Stay at the Radisson Fisherman's Wharf on San Francisco's waterfront. Dinner for four at Bubba Gump's, a tour of the Wax Museum, and a trip to the Aquarium of the Bay. All right, Kennedy, let's put 90 seconds on the board. Tee it up. Nice swing. Here is your first path. Take a look. Now you're going to see it twice. And the clock's going to start when you make your first step. Good luck, Kennedy. Oh, she's quick. Oh. Make sure you hit the buttons. All right, go ahead. Oh, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Oh, there you, oh, she's got it now. There you go, there you go. Oh, no, quick, 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 quick. You got it this time. You know where you went wrong. Oh, oh, oh. 
Don't worry, you got plenty of time. Okay, go ahead. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. You got plenty of time. Plus, you got a guitar. I'm totally coming over to play that. All right. Here is the five by five. This is for the bike. Take a look. Okay. Here it is again. And you got 52 seconds left. Good luck, Kennedy. Doing really well. You got really like halfway there. There you go. She's got it. She says that one. Yeah, got it! <laughs> right there! Yes! Oh, that bike is gonna look so good with that guitar. Okay, here it is. This is the six by six. This is for all the marbles. You have 34 seconds on the clock. Take a look at this path. Here it is again. All right, good luck. Come on, crowd, get into it. This is it. Play it fast and play it loose. And you trace it out with her finger. I have a good feeling about this. There's 20 seconds left. Come on, back. Time is running down. Kennedy, you got about 10 seconds. Oh, no, you missed that. Here it is one last time. Oh, wait. Go. Two. Oh, Kennedy, time's up. Come right up here. Come on up. Don't hang your head. You played a great game. You got yourself a guitar. You got yourself a bike. And you know what second best to getting slimed around here? Take a guess. That's right, there's only one way out, and it's down the brain drain. Head on over, I'll meet you there. Guys, thanks for watching. That's all the time we have today on Brain Surge. Tune in next time when we have six new brainiacs. Go head to head to head to head to head to head. Only on Brain Surge. Thanks for watching Mayfield, New York. March 27th, Victoria Justice stars in Nick's brand new series, Victorious. Victorious is about a girl named Tori Vega, who I play. She kind of gets thrown into this performing arts high school called Hollywood Arts. It's just a high school. Uh, this is not just a high school. She's kind of neurotic sometimes, but she's a really fun energy. And she's really loyal to her friends and would do anything for them. Don't miss Victorious. The special preview of Nick's brand new series premieres March 27th, right after the Kids' Choice Awards, only on Nick. Mm-hmm.